Hello and welcome to English Learning Station. This is Learn, Unlearn and Relearn series. In this episode, let us understand the usage of have and having. Have and having are both derived from the verb to have, but they cannot be used interchangeably. Let us start with have. Have is a primary auxiliary verb. It is used as the main verb or the standalone verb in sentences to indicate position or ownership. For example, I have a dog. John has a jeep. They have two children. In these sentences, have and has are used as the main verb or the standalone verb to indicate position or ownership. Moving forward to the usage of having. Having is the present participle form of the verb to have and is used in different ways. It is often used as the gerund, which refers to a verb that does the function of a noun, such as the subject of the sentence or the object of the sentence. For example, having a short break after a hectic work schedule is important. She likes having coffee after dinner. Kevin regrets not having completed the assignment. In these sentences, having functions as a noun, such as the subject or the object of the sentence. Having can be used as the participle form in verb phrases to indicate actions that are happening at the moment of talk. For example, the teacher is having a conversation with the principal. The students are having difficulty completing the homework. The corporate is having a hard time finding candidates with the right attitude. In these sentences, Having is used as the participle form in the verb phrases to indicate action that is happening at the moment of talk. To conclude, have is used to indicate position while having is used as gerund or participle in verb phrases to show actions happening at the moment of talk. Do practice the worksheet attached in the description box. Please like, share and subscribe to English Learning Station. Follow me on the social media handles as well. Bye for now and see you soon.